swim through the layers of cervical mucus that guard the entrance to the uterus. During ovulation, this barrier becomes thinner and changes its acidity, creating a friendlier environment for the sperm. On the other side, after releasing the egg at about day 14 of the period, the egg arrives at a specific portion of the tube called the ampular ismic junction. It rests for another 30 hours. Fertilization occurs in this portion of the tube. Once the sperm has entered the uterus, contractions propel the sperm upward into the fallopian tubes. To meet the waiting egg, sperm must travel from the vagina to the fallopian tubes, a tough journey that few sperm survive. This process may be nature's way of allowing only the healthiest sperm to fertilize the egg to provide the best chances of having a healthy baby. The first sperm enter the tubes a few minutes after ejaculation. But, however, the first sperm are not likely to fertilize the egg. Modal sperm can survive in the female reproductive tract for up to five days. The magic happens in the fallopian tubes. The fallopian tube pushes the egg towards the uterus. Cilia push the sperm towards the egg. Also, the surrounding cells of the egg produce a chemical that attracts sperm. The sperm first burrow through the cells of the corona radiata. Then, upon contact with the zona pellucida, the sperm bind to the receptors in the zona pellucida. Then, the enzyme-filled cap of the sperm, called the acrosome, releases its stored digestive enzymes. Finally, the sperm must fuse with the egg plasma membrane. This event causes the egg membrane to change and prevent other sperm from attaching to it. Now attached, the sperm's nucleus, where the chromosomes are stored, enters the egg cell, looking for the egg's nucleus. Egg combines genetic material with the sperm to create a full set of chromosomal DNA with 23 pairs of chromosomes that contain a unique copy of half the genes of the parent source. This is the blueprint for a whole new unique person that instantly determines gender, hair color, eye color, and many other characteristics. The combined sperm and egg is called a zygote. It is the earliest developmental stage. It divides rapidly in the days following fertilization. The zygote then travels down the fallopian tube to the uterus. After fertilization, the zygote continues to divide and morph into a blastocyst ball of 16 cells, approximately five to six days after fertilization. It is smaller than the tip of a ballpoint pen. Only 20% to 30% of fertilized eggs will reach the blastocyst stage. Embryos that survive this stage of development have a high implantation potential once transferred into the uterine cavity. The blastocyst hatches out of its shell and burrow into the uterine wall, endometria, which serves as the source of oxygen and nutrients. About four weeks from the beginning of the last period, near the next period, the blastocyst has begun to produce the pregnancy hormone to tell your ovaries to stop releasing eggs. From then on, the menstrual cycle pauses. The blastocyst is called an embryo now. Home pregnancy test might be able to get a positive result. At week five, the circulatory system, brain, and spinal cord are beginning to form and the tiny heart will start to beat. The baby's heart beats about 54 million times before birth. The placenta provides oxygen and nutrients to the growing baby. 
and removes waste products from the baby's blood via the umbilical cord. The nose, mouth, and ears are starting to shape at week six. At weeks seven and eight, the embryo has doubled in size since last week's. Little hands and feet start to grow. At week nine to 12 of pregnancy, the embryo is called a fetus. The baby is almost fully formed and has completed the most critical portions. The facial features are more recognizable. The fetus's head is rotated and bent towards the chest, and he can occasionally touch his face. The diaphragm muscles start to grow. The reproductive, circulatory, and urinary systems are all at an advanced stage of development. The fetus will urinate in the amniotic sac. It is a sign of the proper functioning of the fetus's body. If the baby is a girl, her ovaries contain millions of eggs. If the fetus is a boy, his testicles will already start producing testosterone, male sex hormone, which is necessary for the development of his reproductive system. She or he is about five centimeters in size and 14 grams in weight. She or he is growing and maturing until ready to birth.